Oh, hey, where have you been? Nowhere. What's in the bag? Um, tampons. Oh, okay. In this video, I want to show you some classy spring neutral outfits. I love color, especially in spring, but neutrals are just my go-to when I want an easy outfit and I want to look classy and chic and put together and timeless. Neutrals really do all of those things. Anything I'm wearing in the video, I will link in the description box, or if it's something I've had for a long time, I will link something similar. All right, let's get started. My first neutral spring outfit I'll show you is my um, J. Crew linen shorts and a shirt I got just recently from Kohl's, and it's it's kind of like a rust, a very very neutral color. It's kind of showing up a little bright on my camera, but it's kind of puffy sleeve. It's, it's kind of a lot of puff going on, but I like it, and I like the square neckline. I also paired it with some white denim. It goes great with white denim as well. I just will personally be wearing shorts as it gets warmer. And then you'll notice throughout this video, I love three color neutrals together in one outfit. I liked the nude footwear with my shorts, but then I really liked the white paired with my jeans. So I really feel like you could do either one here. And I didn't try black and a black belt, but that would probably look really cute as well. I mentioned in several videos that I love black and white as like a, you know, gotta get ready in five minutes and throw this on, black and white together. And I actually did that yesterday. My husband was like, you need to take me to the car dealership or the tire place, get my tire fixed, like right now. <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, I guess I had a hair in my mouth. Um, that's nice. And so anyway, I had to run and get dressed. I put this on and I was like ready for the day. I looked fine. And so I'm wearing these white denim pants from Walmart. I've shown you a million times. And then I just got this top from Lily Silk. It's like a silk and cashmere blend, so it's super lightweight and breathable. It also comes in ivory, but I just loved the black. And by the way, I don't think you have to belt these pants. I don't, I wear like an outfit like this a lot of time, again, to get ready in five minutes. Um, but you know, the belt obviously elevates it a little bit, but I don't think you absolutely have to have that for just a casual everyday outfit. We're gonna jump on over to a denim on denim outfit. Is denim considered a neutral? I feel like it is, it does go with everything. So we're gonna do denim on denim here. This could easily go with a pair of jeans, but it's starting to warm up here in Florida, so shorts it is. And for a casual outfit, I like shorts. Um, and I, you know, I love this together. I love the light denim with the darker denim. I have it with my so ugly, but they're cute shoes. These are so freaking comfortable, but this could really also look really great with like a pair of nude sandals. I love denim on denim because it's just so easy to put together, but it looks so intentional. By the way, these jean shorts are from Veronica Beard and I scoured the earth last spring, or I guess whenever, you know, all the sales were happening to find these shorts um, on sale because they're not cheap. And I, I did find them on sale. I bought them in every color. I'm gonna find them again. I hope they're on sale because they brought them back this year. I feel like they will be on sale. They're really cute and they fit really great. This is the most casual outfit I have in this video, but I, you know, I love, I love outfits that I can throw on when I'm like going down to the beach or it's just like super hot and I can't really wear a lot of clothes. And I love this because I love denim skirts and um, I love this white top I just got from Urban Revivo. It like, you don't have to tuck it in, obviously. It's not meant to be tucked in, so you can leave it out. It does come a little high up there on the side, as you can see, but it's not really that much. I like it. I love, love the whole, like everything about it. I love the way it goes over the skirt, and I love it with a straw bag. It just feels very casual and easy and something I can wear during the summertime when it's super duper hot and humid, but I don't look, you know, I'm not just wearing like, you know, shorts and a tank top. Next, we have another one of those three color neutral combinations that I love. I've got my ivory high-waisted jeans from Abercrombie. Um, this silk shirt, I call it my mushroom colors from, I wanna say Everlane, now I forget, but I'll link it below. And this belt that I've been wearing all over the place, I love it for high-waisted pants and nude shoes. And I just love this combination. I feel like it's so classy and just timeless. I think this is a fun combination to do with black. You can add a black belt here and black shoes and it just makes it look totally different but I still think it looks very chic and put together and by the way my head is going to be cut off in a lot of these because I had recently had oral surgery and I my cheek looks like I have a bunch of acorns like I'm a chipmunk love white on white in the spring and summer it's so easy to do and I did it with my linen J Crew shorts and this new little top I found at Ann Taylor loft outlet 
if you have one near you, they have some really cute stuff. Anyway, um, I love this. It doesn't really need the belt, but I like it with the belt and the nude shoes. And then you can always add a jacket here. Like if you were going somewhere and you felt like it was gonna be chilly inside, I feel like a cute linen jacket looks great over this outfit. And you could also just wear it kind of casually around your shoulders, but I love blazers and shorts outfits. I think I mentioned that before, but I just, I love that look in the spring. This might be my favorite outfit in the whole world right now. I just absolutely love it. I just got it and I love, it's, it's a linen and rayon blend. So it's like got that linen kind of breathability, but it's not gonna wrinkle as much as 100% linen would. I just love how cute it is. It's like, you know, loose fit up top. I got little shorts on the bottom that are high-waisted. I love it with my nude sandals. I just feel like I'm going to be wearing this a lot this spring and summer, probably even into the fall when it's still hot because it's just so great. It did come in other colors. I think it was white, maybe one other color, but I really like the black. Obviously this can be broken apart. You can wear the shorts with you know, a different top and the top could be wear with, worn with something high-waisted. Like I feel like my ivory high-waisted jeans would look really cute with this as well. You know, sometimes I think my camera just like dumbs everything down, but this outfit is super cute. I actually might wear it to my daughter's piano recital. Um, in a couple days, but I have these wide leg pleated trousers from Urban Revivo, and I paired it with my lily silk top, some little black sandals. I just, I really love this outfit. Like I love the fitted top with the wide leg on the bottom. I love the balance. And I feel like it's so simple and effortless, but it's still very current. Like I feel like the wide leg makes it a little more interesting. And with the length, I'm 5'6", and I can wear this with, they wear these with these really low heeled um, Steve Madden sandals that I just got. So I, I was really feeling myself in this outfit. I will just tell you, I just really loved it. I feel like I looked very put together I'm really liking this. Another three, actually maybe this is four colors of neutrals put together in this outfit. I feel like this is an outfit I would wear if I was, I don't know, doing like a day date with my husband or um, I don't know, just something a little fancier than just everyday stuff because of the off shoulder top up top. And this off shoulder top, it is off shoulder. You do have to wear a strapless bra obviously, but it's very secure and like, I don't know, snug. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna like fly all over the place. And I paired it with my white shoes because I just really love these right now. Um, but it would look wonderful with nude as well. And I don't even think you really need a belt here, but I just really like this belt. Progressively getting a little more dressy put together. This is a, my a new bodysuit I just got, and you this is the, like the most complicated one that I have. You do have to wear either boob tape or no bra because it doesn't have really much of a back, but it's so cute, and I feel like it looks so great paired with these structured, um, tailored trousers. These are from Reformation. They are really great, especially, they come very long. I've actually got to get these hemmed, um, but they have such a great movement, and I was trying to show you that in this video. That's why I'm moving around so much. Much, but they have a really great movement, a great feel, um, just a really great lay to them. And of course, I love it with the third neutral color. It's just it's just kind of a shade or two off from my pants, but I love the belt with this. And I've, I've mentioned before, I just love the idea of something really structured on the bottom and something more like feminine and um, not structured up top. I love that kind of combination. Keeping with that theme for just a second, another bodysuit I recently got from Revolve is this black one, and I love this one because it is actual bra, like regular old bra, not strapless, bra friendly. And it's just, it's actually a very great fitting um, bodysuit, and I love the one arm, I love the asymmetry, and I, of course I love black and white. These pants I absolutely love too. I need to get them hemmed because I've been wearing with the heels, and it's just, I wore them with heels the other night. We had a black and white event. Um, I actually ended up wearing something I wasn't planning on wearing. I'll show you a picture. This is why I don't post pictures on Instagram because we go places. I tell my husband we need to pick, take pictures beforehand. He's like, no, 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 we'll do it later. And then we do it later. And then they end up like <laughs> not good at all. Funny but not really funny story is I was gonna wear this outfit because the event, it said wear black and white. And I was like, oh, this would be perfect. And on the way there, because this event was out of town, my son, like apparently, I guess, got stains on both my top and my husband's top. 
And luckily I had brought a backup outfit which was those pants and a black top, but I forgot the belt. And so the belt is actually a belt from when I was in high school that I found at my mom's house. Yay. And more evidence that we need to take pictures beforehand and not at the event. Anyway, I do love these white trousers. They're beautiful and I have several black tops that I have been wearing it with and I just, I love all of them. I just, I don't think I'm gonna ever get tired of this combination. Now I just got this skirt. It's got kind of a high little slit in it, but it's not like I'm gonna be picking my kids up from school in this outfit or anything. <laughs> I actually just put it together because I'm trying to figure out outfits for a vacation I have coming up. I will tell you later. Um, it is international, I'm very excited. And this top I have, it's Norma Kamali. I have it in a few colors and I feel like rust is kind of a neutral color. So um, I just love it with this skirt. I love like the kind of like blousy kind of look with it because you know the skirt has this slit so I wanna balance it out with like something more relaxed up top. But I've always loved these tops. They're meant to be kind of off shoulder and I can wear it with my you know one shoulder sports bra hack that I've mentioned before. And um, I just, I really love this. I love like white compared, paired with rust. I love it together. Um, I do like these shoes with it, but I think I might get the skirt hemmed so I can wear a lower heel. I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, this is kind of an uh, outfit I just put together. I kind of like it. I just found this super cute little zebra print dress from H&M. It's like a um, subtle neutral zebra, which I like. I don't like the colorful animal print anymore. But I love this one and I dramatically threw off the belt that came with it and I added my own belt, which I love a lot better than the fabric belt. Love it with just some regular nude, like kind of minimal shoes. Um, black would look great here as well. I just really like the nude with it personally. But I love this little dress. I'm really excited about this. This little black dress is actually from Amazon. I just really liked the style and of course I added my own belt, but I, I like it with the fabric belt as well, like just the solid black column. Um, I love nude here, nude sandals here, but I also tried it with my chunky sandals that I have now and I like it with those as well because I feel like it kind of helps them stand out and kind of be the star of the show. But this is just a cute, easy little dress. I was actually really pleasantly surprised. I've been looking for just a simple, easy white dress that I can keep in my closet to wear when I need one. And this one is, I think, I think it's 80% cotton. It's fully lined, so it's not see-through or anything. It's from Urban Revivo. But I love that it's got this asymmetrical hem. I feel like it's just a little bit more interesting. And this is something completely, I mean, I definitely don't have anything like this, and I think that's why I like it so much. So I hope you liked those outfits or got some good ideas for spring. I will of course link everything below in the description box and I will see you next time.